Good morning. So most of us have finished painting our tints. If you're not quite done, that's okay. Um, because we're going to keep on moving on and you'll see that it'll be just fine. We're going to be making some ice cream cones today. So if you don't have it quite done, you'll just have a little bit of a smaller ice cream cone and it will be A-OK. -okay. So I have my piece here. This is actually the way I painted it. And I'm going to be cutting it out today. We're going to be cutting out ice cream cone balls. Now the way I make think of an ice cream cone ball, maybe I'll draw it out first. So I think there's kind of some bumps and then it's like a top. And I think of ice cream stacked on top of each other. I think it looks about like that. So I can draw it out first and now well hey, paper's not really that thick. What if I folded my paper in half and then in half again? I bet I could cut through four pieces of paper at a time. Um, now, if you think that would be really tough, you could try just folding it in half and cut out four ice cream cones. Um, but this way, I just have to cut it out twice. So I'm going to draw my ice cream cone up here, my half circle. You can see it even better here. And then maybe a couple lumps over there, straight bottom. Like that. That's what I think an ice cream cone looks like. So now I'm going to cut these two out. Holding my scissors correctly, we're big kids, so I think all of us should be holding our scissors correctly. Make sure you're holding on tight and that your paper's not shifting. If your paper starts shifting, you might get some different shapes than what you want. So I've almost got my first one done. Voila! All right. So I've got ooh, a very light one there several different ice cream cones. I'm going to put those to the side, cut out my second one. If you make a mistake, it's okay. Um, you can call me over and I can help us fix it, or you can try to find a good way to make your oops work. Notice I'm just shifting my paper around. I'm not really moving my scissors, but I just move my paper around to cut out my ice cream cone. Whoops, and that's a little bit pointy up there, so I'm gonna smooth that out. Happy with that shape, I can just um, take these and I'm gonna put them in the bucket in the middle of my table, and that's our recycling bucket. Now I have all eight of mine here, and what I want you to do, whoops, that one's backwards. Make sure you're on the right side of all of them. All right, and I want you to arrange them from darkest to lightest, the darkest shade to the lightest tint. I think this one actually looks like maybe my darkest. Um, I'm going to arrange which one's lighter. This one's darker, so I gotta put that one up there. Sometimes they're hard to tell. All right, so now I have it lightest tint to darkest shade. And I'm going to make my ice cream cone. So everyone will have a piece of paper and a cone. If you don't like the way I just gave you guys a triangle, if you like this cone, you can use it. If you don't, you can change it up a little bit. See, my cone might be a little bit too big. So I think I'm actually even going to change it up because my ice cream cones, I cut them kind of small. So I'm going to get a smaller cone than I think. So I just snipped it up. And it works best if you start with the bottom. So I'm going to... Take my glue bottle, after I've cut up everything, I'm going to glue dot, 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 not a lot. Okay, so I put six dots on here. Please do not go crazy with the glue. You don't need that much, I promise. I'm going to glue it on the bottom of my paper. Smoothing it down nicely. Oops, even that got some underneath come out, even just that little amount and still oozing out the edges. So be careful. No need to overdo the glue. So you can decide whether you want your shade on the bottom or whether you want your tint on the bottom. I think 
I actually want to do my shade on the bottom. I think that'd be fun. So starting with the darkest, I'm going to have my lightest on the top. So I'm just going to do my dots. Four or five dots is good enough. I'm going to start my shade, making sure each one I glue on, and I might have to add some more glue in a little bit, but you know, it might be kind of cool that some of those edges are sticking up. I'm, not, I'm okay with that. Whenever you paint on paper, it gets a little bit wrinklier, but I kind of like how that looks sometimes. Now, if you have one of your colors that you just think does not work, you don't have to include it. Maybe if I thought these two were too similar, I could just take one of those out. But I like all of my ice cream. I think the more ice cream, the merrier. So I am just stack, stack, stacking all the way up. And one last one. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, that looks so good. It's making me hungry. If you think there's any other places you need to add a little bit more glue, you might want to hold it down. You can do that. Once you've got this part done, of course, write your name. And you can use the crayons to decorate it. So maybe I want this to be, maybe I want to decorate my cone. Do some cross hatching. Or I want to put it on a table. Maybe I want to put a cherry on top. Whoopsies. Hello, guys. You can fall down today. Maybe put a cherry on top. You can add whatever details. Maybe some birds are trying to eat my ice cream. Whatever you want to do is your choice. Maybe angry birds are attacking the ice cream. We all know how to do angry birds. Oh, there's my angry bird. It wants ice cream too. And I don't blame it, okay? Add details when you're done if you finish early. Um, otherwise, I think that is it. This is my tints and shade ice cream cone. Way to go, we finally got there. Get started. I'm excited to see how your projects turn out.